it's time to rise and shine. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're feeling fine. Good morning, get up, get out of bed. It's time to wake up, you sleepy head. Time to wake up, it's a brand new day. And we can't miss out on that day to decay. Get your day planned out to be at your best. And you gotta make sure you got the right back test. Wipe the sleep away, make sure you're awake. Cause we don't have time for fat finger mistakes. And race your condos will pay the bills. But you gotta be quick to get those fills. Follow your plan to keep your pockets thick. If that market gaps up, look for Uncle Rick. Small gap down means it's time for a duck. But if it doesn't set up, then we don't give up. Good morning, everybody. We know why we came here today. Now let's get to it. Yeah. Let's go. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Today is Thursday the 30th. Second last trading day of May. S&P down 14 and a half, NASDAQ down 30, Russell staying strong up 14, Dow down 315, gold flat, silver down 2%, bonds and notes higher, 10-year yield down 1.19%, oil off 1%, natural gas down 2.5, grains a little bit mixed, euro in the pound slightly green, Bitcoin up a little over 1.5%. VIX is at 14.3 and slightly positive. So assuming we don't get a quick little markdown on the VIX at the open, I should be trading my uh, re-entries and 1DTE. If it does contract to the tune of more than down 0.25%, then I will not which the S&P, since the freeze, S&P has, has, has gone up a couple points. So it's possible it could contract now. So here's the freeze right here. Yeah, we're up about three, three points. So it's going to be a close one. Uh, yeah, Allison, check out my trade plan for June. I posted yesterday, not doing the NDX at the open anymore. Forty seconds till the bell. Uh, John K. Yeah, I will do a two DTE. I'm just kind of testing it right now. I'm just doing a one lot, but yeah, if if VIX cooperates for the other stuff, it would hold true for the uh, actually the I forgot my one DTE actually tolerates up to a half percent contraction at the open. So the one DTE most likely will fire. The 0.25%, the re-entry zero DTE will be close. Here's the bell. Expected move for the day for SPX is Little drop out of the gates, so it should pop VIX up. VIX's first print usually takes a minute or two. <laughs> yeah, VIX is above 14, so Rick would have been back in play, but... Let's see what VIX opens at. Oh, it's showing a gap down a 0.35% on the VIX. Okay, so it is a, a little 
ball contraction day. So most of my stuff will not fire. Well, according to Trade Stewart, apparently it will fire. Let's see, what did Trade Stewart have it at? Had the VIX down 0.49%. <clears throat> Toss has it at minus 0.35. Okay. Yeah, it did not fire my zero DTE re-entries as it should not have, but it did fire my two DTE and my one DTE, which use a filter of a half percent or higher on the VIX. So that is correct. Yeah, so no re-entries, but one DTE fired. Now, Rick, why did my Rick not fire? Let me see what I've got my settings at on early Rick. Okay, early Rick, I have it 14 and a half minimum VIX, so that didn't that disqualified it. And then my late Rick, I have a little bit different. Let me see what that's at. Oh, late Rick's 14 and a half as well. So <clears throat> no Rick today. So the only thing, yeah, one DTE qualified. I use it for me anyway. I use a half percent VIX contraction or better. So that one qualified. And then my rut hedge will fire here in a couple minutes. So my one DTE is on the 85 calls, 65 puts, only 20. Oh, no. Is that right? Oh, yeah, because of PCE, it's super wide. 120 points wide. There's my rut hedge just fired. Oh, no. What am, I, what am I looking at? Oh, I was looking at my... Sorry. Sorry. Let me restate that. I had the wrong... Let's see. 52.85. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I was looking at the longs. My bad. All right. Not 120 wide. I thought that was a little too much. 50 wide. Excuse me, <laughs> 60 wide. Woo! A little slow this morning, kids. Shorts on my one DTE, 52.25 puts, 52.85 calls. SPX pushing lower. Rut is strong. Rut's up, pushing up almost... About three quarters of a percent. Mm 
break even on yesterday's is 2058. Currently 2051. So I need a continued push out of rut to get out of the valley on that one. And then look at the look at the skew here to the upside on today's. A lot more profit potential to the upside than the downside. Yesterday was was I think pretty even. Yeah, exactly even. That has to do with PCE tomorrow. A little skew in the options chain. I did do a two DTE as well. Again, I'm just kind of testing this still. I did a one lot. And that is on the 5210 puts, 5295 calls. So this morning, pre-market, we had GDP and unemployment claims. At 9 a.m. Central, so 30 minutes after the open here, so here in about 12 minutes, we've got pending home sales, which uh, this calendar has labeled as high impact. We'll see if that does anything. And then today we've also got at 11.05 Central FOMC member Williams speaking. And tomorrow's the core PCE price index, which has become a little big a little bit of importance. Gold bounced back up. It was in the red pre-market. Silver's still down 2%. Yes, I'm closing my 1-2. Always do that within the first 15 minutes. It, it, was, uh, it was red pre-market. It's now up a couple percent. Now it's looks like it's close to a scratch. I'll go ahead and put my order in for it. <clears throat> Try to get ten sixty. See here. Thought this little bounce would have helped it. Uh, 
All right. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to get out for a little, little scratch or a little loss on the one two. Vix coming back down to 14. All right, lost 10 cents on the one, two. <clears throat> yeah, on the on the Wednesday, Dick K, I agree. I there is uh, a <clears throat> there's some val validity to holding that longer can be anyway all right spx getting a little bounce Not seeing much decay yet, which we may get a little slower than the normal decay on these 1DTEs with core PCE tomorrow. Uh, the rut, let's see, yesterday's rut I got Paid eighteen twenty five today. I paid twenty one ninety. So obviously, price is higher with the options more expensive tomorrow for core PCE. So that has to do with the difference. If you're looking at the difference between yesterday and today. Uh, Krish, where are you getting minus 1.12 for the VIX overnight? On toss, it's minus 0.35. Trade stewards minus 0.49, toss is minus 0.35. So you're just using 932 regardless? Okay. Well, the actual is minus 0.35. Oh, they just use... Okay, yeah, I'm looking at toss. So... So minus 0.35. I thought Option Omega used first print. Sometimes it's 931, sometimes it's 932. Yeah, I agree, Marl. That's correct. Yeah, because they use first print, so you can't just use a specific time. I don't think they've changed. It's been it's been pretty uh they've 
been using that way since the, since the very beginning. It's pretty easy just to use Aten Ra's little gap indicator. It's down 0.35% at the open. All right, my friends, what else is going on? Any questions? Otherwise, we'll just kind of make it a quick stream this morning. And I'm uh, I'm in the process of going through, you know, kind of what I talked about in my trade plan as far as on my challenge portfolio. Um, I had I just done a quick kind of run through and decided that, you know, if I if my challenge portfolio gets up. You know, three to four percent. I haven't decided exactly where the the line in the sand will be, but that I would either significantly reduce size or just kind of shut it down for the day. And so I'm I'm going through and doing a detailed analysis on that since I started March first to see if I'm being a victim of recency bias or if there's actually something to it. So. Naughty dog, did you you did did you not hear me answer you? Yeah, so yesterday was eighteen twenty five. Today was twenty one ninety. So it's gonna it's gonna depend on the skew with the options, like tomorrow's core PCEs, which is why it's higher today. Um, I'm not sure if I haven't, I haven't really compared, I mean, it's totally different symbol, so I haven't necessarily compared the debit paid to, to SPX, but. Uh, Mukesh, you're asking. Can I go over the, today's trades? The only thing that qualified for me was one DTE. So if you look at my trade plan, you'll see, you know, just pull up the, pull up the back test and it gives you the, the VIX filter. You know, so VIX, uh, and I use I use toss. So VIX gap down minus 0.35% today. Well, if I'm going to do my re-entries, for example, my cutoff is minus 0.25%. So it gapped down more than minus 0.25%. So those did not qualify. My 1DTE filters a half percent. So it did qualify. Does that make sense, Mukesh? Yeah, we'll definitely have our first session lucky in June. Haven't nothing nothing scheduled yet. Uh MRP I do yeah, seven dollars sixty wide and my filter is minus point five percent. Yes, but what is my minimum VIX threshold? Mukesh. Okay. 
let me see if well i at least in my bot it's 14 and a half but let's see if my kind of i was kind of bouncing around between 14 and 15 on those so let me see it may have um on my back test in my trade plan let's see if it matches hopefully it does otherwise i apologize yeah, 14 and a half. So VIX was below 14 and a half. So that's why that one didn't qualify. Uh, Jeff, on the that vertical put kicker, um, you know, that, that one didn't qualify today. It's only... It's only a Tuesday or a Thursday trade, but um, because of the gap down, that one didn't qualify. But essentially, it's a, a 1 DTE vertical and then a 0 DTE long put. And essentially, it, it's not it's not the same as a RIC, but essentially, price price has to move for you to profit. So it gives you a big downside profit, which is why I benefited from it so much on when I took it on this day, 523, when we had that big down move. That's where I made that that big profit on it. But um but it's it's got to move. And so you can profit if it moves to the upside, you can profit if it moves to the downside. And um, but it's it's got to move to profit. If it just kind of sits there, you're gonna you're gonna get some decay working against you. Uh, I'm I'm looking at putting a duck on today. I just I just wanted to see if we were going to get a little bit more follow through to the downside, which we have a little bit. So in fact, let's just go ahead and put one of those on right now. Very good strikes here. Oh, that might work. Build on the deck.
my one DTE is up a few percent. About four percent. My two DTE is up about three percent. Hang out here for a few more minutes while the uh, pending home sales number comes out in three minutes. Yeah, if you went wider on the one DTE, you're going to, on a percentage basis, those profits are going to typically come quicker. I have not found Morrow the uh, wider is better over time, at least in my testing. Yeah, I found it just to be very slightly better win rate. Not enough to make a difference. No, it's not in my trade plan, trade scout. I'm just, uh, I'm just still testing it, just trying to decide if I want to trade it. Here's um. Here's the back test, inspired by Dan B. Getting a little bounce in SPX. Looks like the home sales numbers might be out. Month over month, actual minus 7.7, .7, forecast minus 1. So it's a big drop in pending home sales compared to what was forecast, it looks like, but market's not really moving. VIX all red so far, down almost 3% now. JT, what bots are you using with IB? Tat?
Yeah, I was I was thinking about that, Dan B. In fact, I was going back and forth in the Trade Steward channel with uh, Michael Todd. Um, yeah, I, you're right. I mean, the VIX first print is not different with different brokers, JT, so... The VIX print is from the exchange, not not a broker. All right, looks like the pending home sales, even though the number was way off, is kind of a nothing. A nothing for the market movement, at least so far. So, I'm going to sign off here. We will uh, see everyone at Power Hour. All right, all. Take care. Have a good day.